Hi, I'm Alexa Kim and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a 15 minute leg and glute focus Pilates session. Come along and join in. Let's start by warming up the body. Sitting comfortably in an upright position, using your hands to support your posture, we're going to point and flex the toes. This is going to warm up the muscles of the leg. Pointing your toes as far as they'll go forwards and then slowly drawing them up, flexing towards your shins. Repeat this eight times. Now let's warm up the back. Bring your feet flat onto your mat, knees bent, hugging your chest tightly towards your knees, stretching your back. We're then gonna curve the back as much as we can by leaning away, pulling in towards the knees, allowing the back to curve. We're going to repeat this five times. Breathe deeply, feel the two stretches in your back. So now we've prepared the body, let's get to work with our first exercise. We're going to do a Pilates roll down followed by Pilates squat. Feet hip distance apart in parallel, softness in the knees, shoulders back and down and chin parallel to the ground. We're going to start with a roll down. Chin in towards the chest, shoulders folding forward and letting the weight of the body carry your body down towards the mat. Bending the knees, we're going to lift the upper body into a Pilates squat. Seat bones sitting backwards, straight back, arms gliding by the ears. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds before folding forward. Enjoy a stretch into those hamstrings, bending the knees once more and into a Pilates squat. Keep your feet firmly on the ground, knees tracking over toes, pushing those seat bones backwards into a deep squat. Lifting the body, keeping those ribs anchored down towards the hips, breathing deeply. Repeat five times. Notice how I extend my body up. I'm aiming for a straight line from the tip of my fingers down to the tail of my glutes. Breathe deeply, enjoy the stretch at the hamstrings between each squat. Lastly, bending the knees, we're going to roll back up through our roll down, stacking the vertebra one on top of the other, knees soft, shoulders back and down, chin parallel to the ground. Our second exercise is going to work into those quads and into the hips. Starting sitting upright, using your hands as a support, we're going to have the legs slightly apart. Raise the first leg up and down off the floor 10 times. Notice how the leg isn't going to come very high, just as high as feels comfortable. Slowly with control, raising it up and down. Take a moment before we do the second exercise here. Raising the leg up, we're going to do 10 short, sharp pulses. Just raising the leg two inches above and below the center point. From there, we're going to go straight into 10 outward circles. These are done slowly with control, breathing deeply. These movements are small, but they are mighty. Take a moment, thank that leg for the hard work. You will feel the burn before repeating on the other side. Ensure to set up your posture correctly for the second round, raising and lowering the other leg with control 10 times. Notice which side feels stronger, which side feels like it needs more work. From here, we're going back to the pulses. Short, sharp, quick, 
10 repetitions here. Keeping that leg up, outward circles, 10 repetitions, slow movements. And relax. Now let's bring our attention into our glutes again. We're going to set ourselves up with our feet flat on our mat, not too far away from our glutes. Shoulders and head relaxed on the mat. We're going to go into our shoulder bridge. So tilting the pelvis and rolling up, peeling the back away from the mat, vertebra by vertebra. Lifting the hips high, squeezing those glutes and rolling back down with control. Make sure your feet are a good distance away from your glutes to ensure a really good rise. And holding at the top for a second, squeezing those glutes. We're going to repeat this 10 times. Just check your positioning partway through your repetitions. Make sure that your thighs are tracking away from your hips, that your knees aren't splaying out to the sides or moving closer together. Rolling through that pelvis, through each vertebra, lifting those hips high, engaging those glutes and rolling back down with control. Ensure to keep your breath deep and slow and your ribs anchored towards your hips. We're now going to revisit those pulsing movements we did in the previous exercise. Rolling up into our shoulder bridge, peeling the back off this mat. We're going to lift our hips high and from here we're going to do 10 quick pulses. Just two inches above and below the midline. Squeezing those glutes at the top before rolling back down with control. We're going to repeat this two more times. Fantastic work. Hug those knees into your chest. Take a moment, breathe and relax. We're now going to get back to work on those legs. Lying on your side, we want to lay in a straight line. Hips, knees and heels, shoulder and arm in one straight line, hips stacked on top of each other. Head resting on your arm and your front arm there to steady you. We're going to flex the top foot and we're going to raise and lower that top leg with control for 16 repetitions. The sweet spot you're going to feel is right in that outer thigh and into the hip. Breathe deeply, control the movements. Three more here, keeping that foot flexed, raising and lowering the leg with control. Bring that knee in, give it a rest before we're going to come back to those pulse movements. Lifting the leg into the uppermost position, 
we're going to perform 16 pulses. Like before, short, sharp movements, really working on that sweet spot in the outer thigh. From here, we are then going to do 10 large forward circles. These movements are slower, more controlled, Ensure your circles are only as big as allow the hips to stay stacked on top of each other. Bring that leg forward, take a moment. We're now going to bring both knees in towards the body, feet away, to do the clam movement. Anchoring your big toes together, we're going to lift and lower the top leg as high as we can take it without the hips moving. Repeat for 10 reps. And now stretching both legs away, we're gonna do the torpedo movement for 10 repetitions. Lifting the top leg, meeting it with the underneath leg and lowering both down with control. Remember that top leg will not be able to come as high as it did in our first set of exercises. Movements with control for 10 repetitions. Squeeze those legs at the top as we draw them both down to the mat with control. Now let's repeat all of that on the other side. Ensure to take the time to get yourself set up correctly. Remember heels, hips, shoulder, the front arm there to support, allowing the ribs to be anchored down towards the hips, breathing deeply, looking straight ahead. Let's flex that top foot, perform 16 reps of leg raises. Ensure you are keeping those hips stacked on top of each other. We're not bringing the body forwards or backwards, but maintaining control in that midsection of our body as we raise and lower that top leg. Ensure to keep that top foot flexed, toes pointing towards the shins. We're then gonna bring that leg up, pointing the toe, and we're gonna perform our 16 pulses. Remember these movements are short and sharp and they're performed at the very top of that movement, just a couple of inches up and down from your starting point. And then straight into those larger 10 circles, keeping those hips stacked on top of each other, creating control in that movement at the hip joint. Breathing deeply, looking straight ahead. Now bring those knees in towards the body for our clam. Lifting and lowering that top knee, feet anchored, keeping those hips stacked. To keep an eye on your hips, you can bring your hand to your hips to make sure that minimal movement forwards and backwards is happening here and it's just in that top leg into your hip joint. 10 repetitions here and then lastly into our torpedo. Lifting the top leg, meeting it with the underneath leg and lowering them both back down with control. 
10 repetitions here. Two more repetitions here. And then bring your leg in to relax those muscles. Thank them for the hard work they've performed. If you're feeling brave, you are very welcome to perform these exercises two or three times over. And when you are finished, come back into child's pose, stretch out that back and into those hips. Thank your body for the hard work that it has performed. I hope you've enjoyed this leg and glute focus Pilates session. Save this video for use in future and I will look forward to seeing you on my next video.